Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications. If you wanna be notified every time I post a new video, you wanna do that, make sure you don't miss out because I'm coming out with a lot more videos. So definitely hit the bell. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something I'm really insecure about, my skin. It's basically like my Accutane journey and my skin journey. I'm gonna show you guys what my skin looked like before. So I really wanted to just make this video to tell you guys like you're not alone, like this happens to everyone. That I'm Okay, so I just wanted to come on here to make this video about my acne journey, what I did to clear up my skin, because as you can tell right now, it's not like really bad. It still has scars and stuff, but yeah, I can make a video about how to get rid of scars and like all that in the future because I'm still working on it. If you want to see that video, then comment down below. There's some pictures. Why is the sun doing this? I'm going to answer some pictures of what my skin looked like before. Warning guys, it looked really bad. So yeah, and I would like try every product, spend money, time, try all these different things and like nothing would work. I would try this for like multiple years. I'd go to the dermatologist, they would give me different pills other than Accutane. I would try like so many different products. So yeah, it was just really time consuming and it felt like nothing worked. Overall, I really hated it. It like did not make me feel good. And if you guys are going through the same thing, like your skin makes you not want to go out in public, and it's just really hard to maintain you get like frustrated about it and it's like taking up a lot of your time and your energy yeah definitely keep watching because this is how i got rid of all those issues and i really think it worked so all right so i've been off of accutane for about three months now i actually just got off of it three months ago and yeah i'm just gonna tell you guys everything i went through and what it is because a lot of people don't know if they should take it it like seems really scary i guess to some people like all the risks and stuff so yeah i'm just gonna explain how i got on it what happened to me and the results so if you would see this video then just keep watching One day I was like, you know what, this year I'm not going to have acne, I really just want to get rid of it, like it's really tiring and exhausting and does not make me feel good. So I told myself, I'm just going to try Accutane, so I went to the dermatologist. A lot of people were like scared about the side effects and stuff, so we went over all of that stuff. You guys can like look up the side effects of Accutane, but these are like some of the things that happened to me, so I'm just going to read the things that I noticed that happened to me because of Accutane. I noticed that like my bones would kind of hurt, which is kind of weird. I don't really know why. Also, like it makes you moody. Like some people can get really sad. I would just say it would make me moody, like different moods sometimes. Um, another one is your lips are so dry. I definitely noticed this. My lips were like peeling because they were so dry. So I actually had to get like a different prescription to put on my lips and actually worked. So that was okay. My eyes were dry, so dry. So I had to get eye drops. So yeah, like everything is dry. You have really dry skin. Well, probably not when you first start it, but when you're like been on it for a while, you're like super dry. And then I guess it can make your stomach hurt. I noticed that sometimes my stomach would hurt for like no reason. So I'm going to say it was that. I don't really know. It's not proven. But those are just some of the things that I noticed because of Accutane. So yeah, I basically went on Accutane because this was like the final thing that I could try. I heard about other people taking it and it like completely got rid of their acne. So I really wanted that for myself. I didn't want to have to worry about all these different products. I didn't want to have to worry about a really hard skin routine. I didn't want to have to deal with like really bad skin and always feeling sad so yeah this is definitely like a confident booster going on accutane and then getting rid of it i know you can try other things like going vegan and like dairy free i tried like that for like a couple days it didn't last so yeah this was like a promising thing to me to start accutane so i went to my dermatologist i asked them for that and basically what you need to do is get blood work you need to tell them a method of birth control. You need to take a test online. There's this website called iPledge. I'm probably gonna insert like a screen recording of what you do. You just answer like 10 questions because it's a really big deal. Like it's like regulated really harshly. So you have to take tests and stuff and make sure you're not getting like extra pills, all this stuff because it's like a really big deal. 
like if you're pregnant with it i'm pretty sure it causes like really bad birth defects picture has that and it says that i actually think that once i open one of these hold up so yeah this is what it says like it's actually a really big deal so you definitely want to be on some type of birth control or like you know that you're not going to get pregnant which was me so yeah in the beginning they start you off with like a lower dosage this one is the 40 milligram one and i think i started off with like 20 or something like that and you just take it every single day with food it looks like this and you just get one every single day you have to take tests every single month or every appointment that you make because this only lasts for like three to four weeks so you have to go in every single time you need a new one and they have to check up on you you have to get your blood work done so yeah no eating in the morning and they'll check it make sure there's nothing wrong with you because i guess this can like cause side effects and they definitely want to check your blood to see if you're good so after you check the blood and birth control and you took the test you also have to pee in a cup i don't know if i mentioned that but yeah you have to do that and then after you do that you can pick it up and there's like a window that you have to pick it up i think it's like a couple days and if you miss that which i did multiple times because it would be like two days and sometimes it's not ready and i had work and stuff so yeah you have to make another appointment drive to the dermatologist do all of that stuff again and then get it so yeah it is kind of like a hassle to be on it you really have to like be serious about it you can't just be like oh it's just a pill like you have to do some stuff with it so that's the only downside i have to say is like all the hassle that it comes with and like some of the side effects i didn't notice anything really bad i never like threw up or had any of those issues never had anything like that so that's really good but yeah there's like so many other things i'm not gonna be able to say in this video like this whole thing is like information and side effects that i don't know i'm just telling you guys like how i went through it in my story you guys can like look it up just look up Clarivis, is that what it's called and then this is like the medical term for it look it up if you're like scared about side effects and stuff honestly i don't really know all the side effects and what it's going to do to me in the long run but right now i seem pretty good so after you're off of it you also have to get your blood taken to make sure you're not pregnant again a month later because it also like you, it's still going to be in your system and you can't get pregnant because it'll cause extreme birth defects so definitely do not do that and yeah the pills aren't that big i don't see people having a problem with that the only thing is with the whole getting your blood work multiple appointments going to the pharmacist getting all these different things taking the test it's very time consuming but that was like one of my goals for this year was to have clear skin so yeah i really set my mind on it and all the things that i had to deal with sometimes they just wouldn't have it at the pharmacy sometimes my appointments would get canceled it was just like yeah there was just a lot of problems and i was just like whatever i really want clear skin so i just kept going with it so that is like what you need to do be positive throughout the whole thing and yeah i don't think that anyone should feel like they should be hiding at home or like embarrassed of their skin and like feel like they have to wear makeup because you don't have to wear makeup and like things like swimming and just random things you shouldn't always have to wear makeup or like feel ashamed of your skin so yeah, I thought it was really important for me to get clear skin because I just wanted to feel better and not have to worry about all these things and like my diet and all these products and routine. That was just really time consuming. So I just really wanted to do this. I didn't know if I wanted to make this video because it is actually something that I'm really insecure about, but I thought it would help you guys because a lot of other people are insecure about their skin. And yeah, I just wanted to help you guys and like tell you that you're not alone and a lot of people feel like this and maybe this could be like an option for you if you want to fix it. So yeah. All right. So with good skin comes you having the freedom to do more stuff, feeling more confident about it. I feel like it's not just about looks. It's like how you feel and overall like it is kind of healthy to have clear skin so it could be a problem if your skin is super bad and like really bumpy so it's not just about appearance so yeah i had like really bumpy acne so even under makeup it would look really bad and i really hated it before i was on accutane i had super oily skin like my makeup would not last like more than three hours it would be so oily that it would just like sweat off i'd have to like reapply makeup it was really bad like i have really oily skin so that is why i think I had a lot of acne because I have really oily skin so this just made my skin like 
less oily and yeah I didn't have to reapply makeup all the time it was actually really good and now it's still like kind of less oily it might get more oily as it wears off and yeah my hair was really oily too and then it started to make my hair less oily which was really good too okay so that was my Accutane journey I hope you guys like this video hopefully it helped some of you guys out if you're thinking about going on it and yeah I hope you all have a wonderful day I'll see you guys in my next video